Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here. This is going to be my review for the Super Sentai 45th Anniversary Encyclopedia. So they do books like these all the time, which are kind of like book informational nerd style books, but obviously they're in Japanese, so if you don't read Japanese, well, you can't read it. And they've done several anniversary themed ones over the years, so I decided to pick this one up. I have the old, it was sort of different than this one, but the old 35th anniversary one, or the 30th anniversary one that I hope to cover once I find it again, which is pretty cool. And it's not like one of those, you know, smexy suit books that has really high detailed pictures of the books, it just kind of goes over a lot of the things in it, but it's pretty cool, and it's a pretty neat set. It comes in this, like, slipcase here, and I even have this little thing around it still, but it comes in this nice slipcase here, but you see Aqua Ranger on there on the front, and then on the back you have Ingeno. It's kind of a random choice. I'm kind of curious how they chose these. The only thing I don't like about this is these little dots that look like those special stickers that they put on Walmart on Black Friday. But it comes in this nice hardcover case, and then it's a hardcover book. And you have Deca Master on there with those Black Friday stickers. And then on the back you got some live man action there. Again, I don't know what that's about exactly, but it's really cool. I honestly forgot it was going to be hardcover because most of these books are usually a nice soft cover, like they're still a nice quality, but that just makes it feel even cooler. And speaking of cool, you get a bookmark with it that has Gal Red on it, and then right in the front you get kind of a history of all the swords and stuff. That's what she... A lot of swords are like that. We're gonna flip through this a little bit. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing, but just give you a general idea. So, table of contents, super exciting, right? So... It kind of shows you how the book works, and it doesn't go exactly in chronological order like some of them. It kind of goes in category order, but here it starts with Go Ranger, obviously. And it kind of gives you these looks at all the different rangers and the teams and whatnot. Again, if you don't read Japanese, you can't read it, so you have to be like me and just like looking at the pretty pictures. But you just kind of get an overview of everything. There's some little descriptions and art up there on each of them, and then you eventually get to some of the mecha and the weapons as well. Here we have an info on Purge Knight right there, so that's kind of interesting. And so you have some Sun Vulcan in there. And then see so you got a little, little art, and I'm sure what I'm going to assume right here is like the story and stuff and the general description. But still, it's pretty neat. I always dig stuff like this. So you go here, Jetman and O-Ranger, and you get the idea. I also think it's cool they include the other Go Busters team from the Go Busters vs. Go Busters movie. Like, they literally have everything, which is really neat. And then you get some information on the attacks and stuff like this. You can kind of see stuff like that with the art, which is neat. You get some stuff on the vehicles. You get some stuff on the mecha, because Battle Fever J was the first one to have mecha. So you get stuff like that and some sort of inside details. And then here we're starting into the mecha section. You got some Jetman stuff going on. Got some O-Ranger stuff. So it sort of goes over the suits and then the mecha. Then we kind of move on here's next category. You have GoGo -Go 5 there. Is it GoGo -Go 5 or GoGo -Go V? I can never remember, honestly. I just call them Lightspeed Rescue in my head. So then that continues into the next section here. Get an idea of some of these. I guess I should know if it's GoGo -Go 5 or GoGo -Go V based on the Mobirates, but I can't remember at the moment. All I'm hearing is Mobirates shrieking in my head. And then this is cool. It goes over a bunch of the different sort of evil teams they've had over the years, which is really neat. And you got Loot Pat here, and it even shows some of their special forms. And I like this here too, they have a bunch of charts which will show different auxiliary forms, like all the different ones and the different possible combos. That's really neat. And then right here you get kind of a side shot of some of the mecha, which is cool as well. Here we head to another category. Asanjo! Sorry about that. So you got some ninja action going on, some ninja megazords or mecha, oh, I've probably upset a lot of people by going over a Sendai book and saying the word megazords. So this kind of goes all the ninjas, and again you can see some of the formation, I think that's really cool, it kind of shows you all the different formation options and whatnot. Here we got some shink engers, here we got a thing you can fill out for something, that's probably the most exciting part, into the Jew Ranger section. Got some Cure Uger. And this is cool here when you get to Reese Soldier again, it shows some of the armaments. I think that's cool too, again, just for a full coverage. And then you even got like Reese Soldier Brown in there. And then you got this bit here, which is really cool. I, I really dig all the different types of things in here. Like it's not just like, hey, here's little pictures of everybody. Like they all got these all kinds of different sections too. Another category here is we head into Magi Ranger. You have the Magic Ranger, and then immediately Die Ranger. So 
some Geoger stuff. Shows you the cube animals, formations again. Some side shots of some mecha right there. You can see some comparisons here. I got all the lion mecha. That's cool. That's cool that they do that by category. And here we have actually a shot of Gosei Green, which is neat. And then you get a bunch of the different color combos for Tokuger. Then you have some, some cannon formations, like we saw Live Man's on the back, but then you kind of see a look at more of the cannon formations throughout the years. There's everyone's favorite pirates. And then right here, you kind of have a catalog of all the teams here. And then you got Changer History. There's the Q Rangers. I keep using the same drifting off tone. And then there's this. I apologize about that. I, I hate myself. And then we go right up to Zenkaidru, but it's literally just the basic information. As of this recording, we're into the times when Zenkai Red and Stacy and um, Two Kaiser have showed up. You could be watching this far in the future, and there's like 15 more Rangers, but that's where we are as of this recording. So this isn't like the most up to date as to where I'm watching, but it's up to date as of like the main Zenkaidru stuff. And then in the back, you get kind of some of the the various mentor helpers throughout helpers, the mental helpers throughout history. Andy Sawi. Sorry about the baby voice, but yeah, this is pretty cool. I I've always dug things like this, especially the big anniversary books. Um, it's not as cool as some of them with like more detailed pictures, but it does have a lot of stuff in it. I really like the different categories, like I showed all the lion ones, it showed, you know, the Morpher history, all kinds of neat stuff. And if you read Japanese, it's probably even better to just not look at the pictures. But I'll say, if you're like me and you're into stuff like this, especially with it being the anniversary, it's honestly really cool to have, especially if you just want to go back and look through at some of the designs through history. It's really neat. So I think if you're a big Sentai fan for the 45th, I can definitely recommend checking this out out. That's about it for this one though guys. Until next time, if you like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps and ring that bell so you can get to my videos. Dawson Ryder, signing out.